Hello friends, welcome to RR Digital Big Data Hadoop Training. In today's session, I will discuss about how to process uh, semi-structured data. So, first we will see how to process XML files because XML files also will call as uh, semi-structured data. And then, uh, uh, JSON uh, files, how to process. So semi-structured data main uh, in real time um, uh, these files uh, we have to process okay so these two will come uh, under uh, semi-structured uh, data after that we have another uh, topic that is uh, complex uh, data types in uh, pig okay so here we have again uh, three concepts one is um, Apple, second one is uh, map, third one is a uh, bag. So today we'll cover these two topics. Okay, so first uh, we'll see how to process uh, XML files. So here I have one uh, XML file. Okay, so ls cd data ls. So here I have an XML file, book.xml file. So catch book.xml. So this is a root element, okay? And uh, this is a sub elements, these two, okay? That means uh, this is uh, just a uh, uh, one row, okay? So under this root element, name and cast okay here values okay name and value also this is another set of uh, record okay so this is uh, name and this is a uh, value so how to process uh, this data file see at the end we don't want uh, all this right uh, so we need only values okay so once you get uh, without uh, root elements if you get values you can apply any business logic either you can apply joins or you can apply aggregate functions or string functions whatever you want okay so first we'll create bag and we'll load uh, data okay. so now here my bag name a equals to load and here I have to specify book.xml path so under home louder and then uh, data then uh, book.xml so if a data file is there in a uh, hdfs means here you have to give hdfs path also same time you have to log in in uh, hdfs mode instead of local mode and then here but here before loading uh, data we have to register a supporting jar file okay so to process xml files related data backend uh, piggy bank dot jar one built-in jar file uh, available okay so that jar file we have to uh, register here okay so i will show that a jar file Cloud error, cloud error, CD VSR. Okay, CD VSR, LS, CD lib, CD pig. Okay, LS. So here we have supporting jar file. So this is the jar file, piggy bank dot jar okay so whenever we want to process any kind of semi-structured data then this jar file will help to extract the data okay so this jar file we have to uh, register now we know the path right this jar file path okay so here grunt mode this is the grunt mode okay so register then uh, your jar file path okay so jar file path we know right usr lib pig then piggy bank dot jar 
okay so successfully registered now if you load xml data it will support to process okay so here bag a equals to load then your xml file path home cloud era data under data book dot xml file okay using so earlier big storage we used so data separated by comma or pipe that we specified okay but here uh, different right here uh, elements are there book name cost okay so here to extract those we have to specify a package so inside that jar file one package is there piggy bank dot jar file okay so org dot apache dot org means organization apache because uh, this is from apache apache dot pig dot piggy bank dot storage dot xml loader okay so till here this is the package under this package uh, this is the function okay so xml loader of okay so we know write uh, file name book so you no need to uh, specify dot xml so here yes so for this entire data i am specifying a single column that column name i am just assuming a name carrier data type because here name characters and cast uh, numbers so which data type it will support means uh, carrier data type it will support both okay so successfully loaded the data now dump a yeah. so data loaded right successfully see here so two records okay now we don't want this right we need only values so how to remove these tags how to remove these tags so for that also we have to write uh, query so bag b equals to for each so for each you are applying on which bag previous bag previous bag name a because a contains xml data okay generate flatten so flatten built-in uh, function we discussed in a previous session right uh, about flatten and uh, here rejects underscore extract underscore all so that means it will uh, extract only values it will uh, remove all those uh, tags okay so here column name uh, name okay so previous back we defined only one column right that is name that column contains a uh, data entire data okay so here first uh, which element book element okay so here book after book which element is there name so name and book uh, both are same or different book and uh, name both are same different words right not same okay so here next uh, which tag means uh, name okay after that again which tag again they closed the name tag only right so here name after name which is there cost so cost they opened again cost closed okay so here cost so again a cost they closed okay after cost finally which one book they closed okay so here so now so coming to book and name both are different if both are different means we have to specify here a yes star between those two double slash chapter and here also name and cost uh, both are different so between those two double slash yes and here also cost and book both are different that means yes 
okay now again here name and the name both are same only right so if both are same tags then between those two you have to specify dot star so here also cast and cast both are same then we have to specify dot star okay so if elements are different then between those two you have to specify double slash uh, yes star okay elements are same means between those two dot star okay b equals to for each okay for each we are applying on bag a, a generate so flatten of rejects underscore extract underscore all so this this uh, function also it is uh, available in uh, piggy bank dot jar file okay and then uh, previous bag bag a we defined a column name as a name because name contains uh, entire data okay comma so here uh, whatever uh, elements available root elements sub elements all those we specified on dump b so here only two elements okay we discussed only two elements okay so book one element and the sub elements um, name cost. okay but uh, in real time uh, n number of uh, elements okay so maybe name cost okay so description like that n number of uh, okay so even if it is n number of also query we have to follow same only okay so here data successfully retrieved okay so query wise here maybe description you have to add Augusta. okay so till cost we specified right after cost if description means again uh, here description okay so like this uh, you have to add uh, a number of uh, elements okay but only thumb line is uh, if uh, tags are different between those two we have to give double slash star if both are same means between those two we have to give dot uh, star okay this is about uh, xml files uh, processing now how to process a jsyn uh, files that sample dot jsyn okay so here see jsyn files always uh, looks like this only but uh, here we have only three columns uh, okay so food food related value person person name amount and a value okay so this is a json file so json file format looks like this always okay so now we'll process this data okay we'll process so here bag a equals to load home louder data then sample dot json sample dot json okay then here using json loader okay so to process json files inside piggy bank dot jar we have this json loader function so we have to use that built-in method so that uh, it will read only uh, values okay so json loader and then the first column uh, name food so food which data type array data type and then the next uh, person 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 which data type array and then uh, amount amount which data type int data type okay yeah so 
so here instead of using a pig storage we have to use a built-in function jsyn loader for processing a json file okay. successfully retrieved values okay so like this we have to process the json files okay so next concept uh, complex uh, data types okay so complex data types earlier uh, we discussed about uh, bags like uh, regularly we created bags right see bag always it contains uh, tuples tuples means rows okay so bag we no need to discuss okay so we created uh, many bags okay so tuple will see one example okay and map also will see one example so map basically whenever your data looks like a, a key comma key comma value pair then you have to apply map Whenever your data looks like a key comma value pair, then you have to apply map. Okay. So tuple means a collection of data. Okay. So each row contains collection of uh, uh, data, right? Okay. So first, practically, we'll see how to use a tuple uh, data type. So here we need a data file first. Okay, so we'll create one sample uh, data file. So cat greater than um, tuple uh, data dot uh, txt. Okay, tuple data dot uh, txt, and then uh, control C. Okay, so cat uh, tuple data dot uh, txt. Okay, so this is just a small uh, data file I created. Okay, so this is um, mobile. Uh, series number and this is a uh, maybe a brand name okay so series number and brand name okay so for this i uh, will create a query and we'll load the data okay so a equals to load home Loader data full data dot um, txt yes okay e colon tuple of okay so here this is just object I created a t okay tuple so first column maybe uh, brand uh, number so which data type into data type second one uh, brand name which data type error data type okay so now if you want to read uh, only brand name related uh, data okay then here back b equals to for each a generate so here we created object right so this object holds the entire data so object name dot uh, column name which column related data you want okay so i want uh, maybe both the columns if you want single column you can specify a single column also okay t dot uh, brand number brand name okay now term b so whether you can uh, read a specific column related or uh, all the columns related but object name with object name you have to read object name dot uh, column name okay so successfully process so this is about a tuple now we'll see how to process uh, how to use a map uh, data type less uh, cat so here uh, this is a key and this is a value this is key and this is value okay so 
we will see practically how to load data and how to retrieve a specific key related uh, values okay bag a equals to load home order data complex uh, data map dot um, txt map dot txt as a so column name a and then uh, data type name uh, map complex data type name okay so here multiple uh, keys and multiple values okay that's why we specified this symbol that means a collection of values it will store okay and uh, here uh, a is a column name okay or you can assume object name also a okay so object dot uh, you can uh, give like uh, column name dot or object dot you can uh, call a key then it will read a value okay so here bag b equals to for each a generate then a slash key name name right first key name comma next a slash age right next key age okay dump b so here we are just calling a keys it should retrieve values that particular key related values okay so successfully retrieved that particular key related values okay so here we specified name and age only two columns if you want only one also you can specify only one key related value it will retrieve Thanks for watching this session. Also please subscribe our channel for more training related videos. Bye friends.